all inside of me. I realize there are no walls in between you and me and this holy word. No walls between you and me and this holy word. Now the holy word you think I would be discussing today is love, which indeed is a holy word, maybe the holiest word of them all. But today the holy word I am discussing is one. One mind, one source, one-ness. I realize we are united in the one energy. The ancient Mayans had a greeting and it says in la kech ala ki'in. Sounds more like Hebrew, um, the way I say it. <laughs> but I'm not sure how the Mayans say it, said it, but in la kech ala ki'in. And it means I am another yourself or I am you and you are me. It's a statement of unity, of, of oneness. Sort of like namaste, or as the Incans would say, um, Wiracocha, or the Lakota would say, Mitakuyu Oyasin. Or as John Lennon wrote in I Am the Walrus on the Sgt. Pepper soundtrack, I am he as you are he as you are me and we are all together. A great sentiment, even though he did write those lyrics while on an LSD trip. But nonetheless, in these greetings, we acknowledge and honor that we are all divine beings. And that includes all of the a-holes in the world. In fact, it must include all of them. Because our diversity is wide, Yes, but it's all inclusive and it's all connected to the one source. And if we believe in the one source, we must believe that even these idiots and a-holes are part of it. You know, the planets don't look the same. They don't have the same air. They may, many of them are inhabitable as far as we know. Uh, we wouldn't want to visit them. But they're part of our Milky Way. They're part of our universe. They're all created by the one source. Now, in a post, I asked you all to join me with your waffles this morning. And I hope you're all having waffles or enjoying some version of waffles. But there's another um, unusual, we'll say, uh, drink you might have for breakfast. And the reason I'm bringing, well... I'll explain the reason I'm bringing this up. Today is International Beer Day. Oh, really? What does beer have to do with connectivity and, and the unity of one? Let me, let me tell you about that. Beer is one of the most, well, it is one of the oldest drinks in the world. It's the third most popular overall after tea and water. This drink is ancient. This is ancient stuff beer. I didn't know this. In the Code of Hammurabi, the recipe for beer is in there. And so are the laws regulating beer and beer parlors or places where you would buy beer. It's in the Code of Hammurabi. In the hymn to Ninkasi, which is a prayer to the Mesopotamian goddess of beer. Who knew there was a goddess of beer? But in Mesopotamia, which is possibly the oldest culture, society we know of. In the hymn to Ninkasi, there is a prayer, and that prayer was used as a method of remembering the recipe for beer, especially for people who couldn't read or write. They would know this prayer. This was a prayer taught to them, and within that prayer would remind them how to make beer. Now, in case you didn't know, beer is brewed from cereal grains, breakfast, and many contain fruit. In fact, um, most of the beers that I've enjoyed have a kind of a fruity flavor, like a blueberry flavor or something to them, although I'm not a big beer drinker. So it's possibly a good breakfast 
a drink. But like all of us, which is the point of this, beer comes in many unique tastes, blends, colors, formulas, countries, cultures, styles, but they're all still beer. They all still pretty much come from a similar recipe. I realize we are united in the one energy. Inclusion and diversity is what God is about. It's un the unconditional love. That's what the unconditional love is, that um, the diversity of the kind people and unkind people even. And though people can be pretty ugly in their individualized expression of this unconditional love, there's a beauty in that. Now, some go about this idea of, of, of their divinity in strange and sometimes dangerous ways, and I understand that. And I understand the, I, this idea is, is, is possibly a little difficult to grasp onto. But again, we don't have to like the likenesses of spirit. We just have to love the infinite possibilities of them because we can learn from them, learn what not to do, learn what not to say, learn where not to be. I realize we are united in the one energy. I want to read a quote from Ernest Holmes. He said, the idea of the oneness of God is not a philosophy of absorption. We do not become absorbed in the universal self to the loss of individuality. Quite the opposite. We find ourselves immersed in a universality, each one being a unique individual and different manifestation of that which itself is one, undivided and different. We are different manifestations of that. We cannot think of the spirit as static, but as forever unfolding its divine nature. Unity does not mean uniformity. So unfolding its divine nature could also be a lesson for us to show us a way. Oneness does not equal sameness. We are uniquely the same as we are similarly different. Stepping into the Mayan culture again, they have a, a word or a phrase for human beings and what human beings are at their core, at their essence. And the word is hu inik lil, hu inik Lil, which means vibrant beings. We are all vibrant beings living in a vibrant universe, able to vibrate at the speed of the divine in the way we desire. And the only difference between us is how we use this vibrancy. This week was the um, final resting memorial for John Lewis, representative Representative John Lewis and I watched that memorial. And he was a way shower, one of many, but he was a way shower that reminded us that focusing on love is what's important. Focusing on love, not hate. The Prophet Muhammad, in his last speech at Mecca, wrote, said, All humans are descended from Adam and Eve. There is no superiority of an Arab over a non-Arab or a non-Arab over an Arab. And no superiority of a white person over a black person or a black person over a white person. Except on the basis of personal piety and righteousness. On their character. Their character makes the person. It is not mankind that needs to be uplifted and upgraded in some ways. It is man itself individually, especially the man, the person that lowers their character to the degree that they cast others as less than. These folks should be loved out of our lives, voted out of our lives for those who can be. Again, this month we are concentrating on consecrating 
declaring and making our lives sacred. Now, that doesn't leave out any fun, any succulence, any sexiness, any relaxation being consecrated. Having grace in life means having health and wealth and love and creativity in life. It does not take away any of this wonderfulness just because we are consecrated. We are sacred. Consecration is about living in truth, seeing that truth in every individualized expression of the one mind, even the a-holes. Realizing that we must be inclusive in our diversity, even as we bless these folks their best, we can also bless them to their farthest out of our lives, if that is necessary. Last month I shared the my version of the Declaration of Independence, the New Thought Declaration of In Independence. Today happens to be the anniversary of the completion of the signing of the Jefferson document in 1776. Not everyone signed on July 4th. Benjamin Rush, one of the signers, wrote about the mood in the room that day being far from celebratory. And he wrote, it was awful and silent as each member was called up one after another to the table of the President of Congress, where they signed what was believed at the time would be our own death warrants. Everyone was aware of what they were undertaking, an act of high treason against the British crown that could cost each man his life. John Hancock supposedly said that Congress, having signed the Declaration, must now all hang together. And Benjamin Franklin replied, yes, we must indeed all hang together, or most assuredly, we shall all hang separately, unity in one. The one mind of the colonist to declare themselves independent from the crown, and for us declaring our independence from hate, even of the a-holes, even of the idiots, even of those that push hate. We are all united in the one mind. We are all united in the Big Bang, the universal presence, the Elohim, the Christ consciousness, the divine intelligence. We're all united in God. I realize we are united in the one energy. So what's our call to action? Well, we need to set our intention to be inclusive, no matter the idiot we are faced with. We must focus on loving even when liking is not possible. Remember that whoever is speaking is a divine expression speaking. Loving and wise or dumb and dangerous as it may be, it is still the divine speaking. And we are best to listen actively and consciously communicate. To be our best in being comfortable with the uncomfortable, in speaking up, in protesting, in voting. To know that what each of us resonates reveals itself back to us individually and as a culture. So we want to resonate love, even if that love means pushing them away to their greatest and farthest or furthest, whatever's proper grammar. Choose not to hate the haters hating. Be guided by that loving intelligence to imagine the peace, the calm, the forces of nature are at our grasp, my friends, in the power of the in lachech al ke'in. I want to leave you with a, a poem. This poem was uh, written by uh, Luis Valdez, who was a writer and director, and he's considered the father of Chicano theater. And pardon my Spanish as I read this poem to you. And he wrote, Tu eres mi otro yo, you are my other me. Si te hago daño a ti, if I do harm to you, me hago daño a mí mismo. I do harm to myself. Si te amo y respeto. If I love and respect you, 
mi amo y respeto yo. I love and respect myself. Whether it is with a greeting of namaste, rakocha in lakek alak in aloha, which by the way means divine presence, shalom, or as the Tibetans say, tashi dele, which means I honor the greatness in you. Realize the divine in all of us. Let us not hate the haters. Let us love them anyway. You are a blessing to me and I am blessed. My spirit speaking through me today. Namaste.